Maisto is a toy company started in 1967 Hong Kong by the brothers Nya. Originally MC Toys, many of their castings, while not exact copies of Matchbox, were close enough that it's easy to see where the inspiration came from. The name Maisto was adopted in 1990 and is well known around the world. The Porsche 959 was introduced by them in 1989 and was eliminated from the line in 2011. I've seen a couple of other die-cast manufacturers producing this casting. In fact, I have one as well, a Motormax Super Wheels. However, that's not to say anyone copied anyone because the car is what the car is. When I first learned of this project sponsored by Maple Leaf Custom, I remembered these castings, but unfortunately, I don't remember where I got them. Uh, I'm sure it was from a subscriber. I picked the silver one because it had screen over the headlights and that works well for what I'm going to do with it. For me, Gasland or post-apocalyptic builds, uh, they all start with measurements because I like to build things in Tinkercad. I wanted to lift this one, so I made a generic lift. In fact, I made four lifts using different axle configurations, two of which already have uh, non-rolling tires on them. Into the soup with a shake for luck. One of the things I liked about this casting was the bottom was nearly flat. I scold Mattel all the time because everything seems to be a low rider for them. Well, at least, at least this one rode low as a natural state of affairs. And it makes it pretty easy to attach the lift once the wheels are removed. If you're going to go down this rabbit hole, a set of sanding discs is a must-have. Uh, not only can you shape 3D parts with it, but you can also uh, you know, clean up the remnants of the sprues. Once the surfaces are prepared, it's a simple matter to attach the lip with some CA glue. Uh, I'm making this a game piece, so I don't want it to roll. Most of what will go in this car I made myself. The exhaust pipe and the driver I downloaded, mostly because I haven't gotten around to making any on my own yet. I actually ground some additional grooves in the casting to make sort of an armor looking affair. And of course I'm darkening it in here with a Gundam pen. I'm going to paint this with a translucent paint so it has a base coat and I dry brushed the tops of the fenders with blue just playing around there. In the end I wound up with this little blue Porsche I call the Blue Max. Of course all of the detailing was done by hand. The blue is a Krylon product in a rattle can, the color being sea glass. Uh, I made the little piece of barbed wire out of just some of uh, the same wire I used to make the window screens, just twisted it up. And of course I weathered it and detailed it all by hand. Since I couldn't really give this one to a child to play with, being as I glued so much stuff on it, uh, I gave my friend's son Bernard this little Porsche from Mattel's Boulevard collection instead.
I hope you enjoyed the project. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. <laughs>